So welcome back. In this video we're going to do a 45 degree pipe branch. So we're going to do the side view and the end view. So we're going to start with our 90 diameter tube. And on top of the tube we've got our 45 degree branch which is going to be 50 mil in diameter. So to be able to draw the pattern, we have to first draw the two views. We'll speed things along. So half round on the top of our tube, then we draw our 45 degree branch, so as we said 50mm in diameter, half round on the top, and that completes our two views. So now we need to break up the circle to give us our development lines. So 90 degree line up breaks it into two, then we're going to break it into a further two. So using uh, our previous videos, if we put our compass on that point and that point, and where the two intersect, let's grab that to the apex, and that breaks that angle in half, which then gives us our segment measurement. So we can put that on our small compass. Select like cross reference. And with that set, we can then mark the other increments for our segments. back into the center line this one there and where all these intersection lines meet we then bring our lines down and then on our side view and then we can cross reference those from the side view to the end view we bring those lines all the way across remembering to number our intersection lines so that when we draw our pattern we don't get confused on where our points are. So now plotting our points from the top, one, two, three, and so on, working our way all the way around. So now to draw a pattern to be able to develop that. We're going to use parallel line technique off the side of the 45 degree. And using our increments to plot the length. Our increments to go one to nine and then back to one. Just 
down the line. That is the end of the pattern. Now if we draw all those lines in off all of our points, remembering to number our points for cross reference so that we don't get confused and map the wrong pattern. So one to nine and then back down to one. So then starting with the center of our pattern the next one. It's not a mistake there. It's one of the reasons that we number it so that we don't get confused because there's quite a lot of lines on this pattern. And we move down to our next point. Marking our two points, next two points, we slowly cross reference all of the points down the pattern. So now with those complete, we can now draw the shape of our pattern. So if we cut that out and then wrap that round the end of our tube, it will give us the profile on the end. So there's the completed drawing with the pattern. Thanks for watching, hope you find it informative. And please subscribe so that you can get notification when we do the pattern development for the hole that goes into the branch.